Hey everybody, I have a ton of baby buys and gifts and craft, well there's only one craft thing, um, that I wanted to show you guys. And they've been accumulating and um, so I need to show you guys. I still have a lot of stuff that um, I ordered that's going to be coming in the mail. I went a little bit um, online shopping crazy. So I have a lot of packages that are going to be coming to me. But I wanted to show you guys these before they start getting lost in the shuffle and I forget to show you guys something. So. First I'll show you the craft that I made. If you're on my Facebook, then you already saw this, but um, if you're not, then you didn't. So I made the mobile for Over Her Crib, and um, here it is with little birds. So it's got little flowers, it's like little branches. And this was inspired by something that I saw on Martha Stewart's website. I think I'm going to move the birds so they're hanging from the different branches and stuff so they're not all close together. But this is just how I have it for right now. But um, yeah, that is the mobile for Over Her Crib. I could not find one that I actually liked um, to purchase. I really didn't like them. A lot of them looked really stupid. So I made that one. And I'm pretty happy with how it turned out. So I'm excited to hang that up in her room. That was my only craft, I think, aside from painting the nursery, which... Um, we're not completely done with yet, but we should be done. It has one coat of paint on the whole room and then two walls have two coats of paint. So we need to do another coat on the other two walls and then it'll be done. And then um, we're gonna start putting furniture together and then I will show you guys the nursery probably next week sometime when we have it a little bit more done. Um, so now I will show you baby buys and gifts that I've gotten in the mail. Um, this is something that I got from Baby Half Off, and I'm pretty addicted to those websites, Baby Half Off, Baby Steals, all those baby discount websites. I don't often order stuff from there, but um, I do sometimes, and I saw these and had to get them. They were a little bit more expensive um, than I would normally spend, but... Most of the stuff that I've gotten for her so far has been really cheap, so I don't mind splurging every once in a while. So I got these little knitted booties for her. Aren't they so cute? I am in love with them. Like, I really wanted some little shoes like this for her, so. Oh, there's Isabel. Hi, Izzy. You gonna come say hi? So there's those. And then it came with a little hair clip. So I thought that that was really super duper cute. So I was excited about that. It's kind of one of my little shopping splurges, but I love them. They're so cute. So there's that. I don't know where I'm going to put all this stuff. Um, I guess I will show you these. I ordered some lovely pocket diapers. I've seen a bunch of reviews on them, um, and so I wanted to try them out. I'm getting a bunch of different brands of diapers because I've heard from so many moms that if you just get one kind or two kinds, they might not work for your baby. So I'm getting a bunch of different brands of the one size. And um, yeah, these were too cute to pass up. I'd been... I watched a review um, that Taryn did a long time ago, Mrs. T Braid, I think is what her YouTube name is, and then I wanted to do more research and, uh, you know, find out if more moms liked them, and I'd seen a bunch of good reviews and good feedback, and then um, Marie Bits and Clips just did a review, and she loved them, and so I went ahead and ordered them, So, and they're really, really inexpensive, too, so... If they suck, it's not like I spent 20 bucks per diaper. But I think they'll be good. And they're so flipping cute. So I'll show you what I got. This one. And this one's like a, you know, minky whatever. I think it's kind of dumb that they're called minky. I don't really understand why they're called that. But oh well. And then this one is as well. And so is this one. And these two are just regular, like, you know, diaper feeling. 
just a pink one and a purple one. This one looks kind of blue in the camera, but it's like a grape purple. So I got those and they're so cute. Oh my gosh. I love them. Stay there. Um, I bought this for her room. I'm going to have to go back, but I went to Joanne's with Brittany and, um, they had a bunch of really cute birdhouses and bird decor. So I was, I've kind of been holding off on buying too much decor because I want to have her room set up and then, um, I'm better at decorating a room when I have it set up and then I look at the holes and see, okay, what should I put there? What should I put there? Um, but I did get this little hook hook. So it's like a little hook. I'm going to put this, um, probably like on the inside of her door and hang like her little hooded towel or a robe or something, but, um, I'm not positive, but it was on sale and it's so cute and I love it. So I got that. Then I bought some stuff from Pottery Barn. Her bedding is Pottery Barn Kids Penelope. If you have just started watching my vlogs or you missed the one where I talked about that. So that was kind of where we got the whole like bird theme idea was from that bedding which is so cute. And so, um, the quilt that they have that goes with that bedding, I'm not a huge fan of. Um, it's cute, but it incorporates like all of the different fabrics that they use in the Penelope bedding and room decor thing. So I just feel like it's too busy all to be put in one quilt. So I got their stroller blanket instead. And, um, so this is what it looks like. It's really big and it has the little bird and then little birds there. And it's kind of like a quilty fabric. And then on the other side, it's just pink. So I like this one a lot better. I feel like, I don't know. I just think that this one's cuter than the quilt that is supposed to go with the bedding. So I love this. Plus this one just seems, it's like a little bit lighter. It's still, you know, a pretty thick, warm blanket, but it's lighter than a quilt would be. And you know, where I live, it doesn't get super cold. So obviously we're not going to use the quilt like on top of the baby in the crib for a long time, but you know, it's going to be cute for decor in the room. And you know, it's a cute, it's a good blanket just for cuddling up. Um, you know, we could put it in our stroller and wrap her in that. So it's cute and I like it. And then I got the stuff for the curtains. I wanted to get blackout curtains and <clears throat> excuse me, Babies R Us had a sale on their blackout panel curtains and it was buy one, get the next panel 50% off. So I bought these and they're like a light pink with polka dots. Obviously you can see that. So I got two panels and then I got the Pottery Barn balance. So I'm gonna get like a double curtain rod. And this is what the balance looks like. And I love it. And this down here with the um, polka dots and the stripes, this is what the bed skirt looks like. So it's going to be, you know, that with the curtains. So I think it'll look really cute. I'm excited. And, uh, you know, we're going to finish painting hopefully today and I'm going to go buy a curtain rod probably today. And so the curtains will be up really soon and I'm so excited for all the stuff to start coming together. So God, I'm making such a mess. I like have nowhere to put this stuff. I don't want to put it on top of the stuff I'm going to show you. Um, oh, I shop so much. Okay. So then I ordered some stuff from Gymboree online. Um, Kelsey gave me a 20% 20, 20 off your entire purchase coupon code for online. And most of her clothes are secondhand. So I don't mind that at all, but I do kind of want to get her a few new things. And these were all on sale, which I pretty, you know, I'm not going to buy her like super priced, high priced stuff. Like some of the stuff, it all has the, you know, original sale or the original tag on it. And some of the stuff's like ridiculous when it's full price, like absurd. Like this right here, this is $32.95 full price. And I think I got it for like 
I don't know, like $5. But it's a little dress. And it has little polka dots and ladybugs on it. And I thought that that was super cute. And it has little bows on the top. So I got that. And I got this hat, which it says 0 to 12 months, but it's pretty big. I don't think this would fit a smaller baby, but so cute. Little hedgehog. And um, these, I'm like so in love with these. Look at these little shorts. <laughs> Aren't they so cute? I think they're so cute. And yeah, like these are like $22.95 for baby shorts. But I got them for way cheaper. Everything that I got was from the clearance. But I think these are so cute. And then I got her two little skirts. And this one has like layers of tulle. And then this one. This one's like a salmon-y color. Yeah, it's picking that up. And then I got her some panda stuff. Um, they had a bunch of stuff with pandas on it. And I thought it was cute. Mike and I call each other panda all the time. That's like one of our nicknames for each other. So I just thought it was cute that this stuff had like little girl panda on it. So I got her these leggings. Little pandas and they're roughly. And then this shirt. And I love this shirt. Love it. So cute. So that stuff just came in the mail today and I was so excited. It was supposed to come in the mail yesterday and I was tracking the package all day long and it said that it was, uh, I didn't say out for delivery, but it said that it was like in my town and it had been, it was like in transit. So I expected that to mean that it was out for delivery and it said that the estimated delivery date was yesterday. So every time I heard a truck or anything that sounded like a big truck, I got really excited. Never came yesterday and I got really pissed, but it came this morning. So I was happy. So that's all my baby buys. Then I wanted to show you a couple of gifts that I got or not for me, but they're for Charlotte. Um, Lauren sent me some books. These were all on my Amazon registry. I really, really, really want Charlotte to have books that I had when I was a little kid. And, um, you know, they were some of my favorite books. So, hi, Mo. Can you see Mo? And so I put these books on my registry. And she picked them out for me, which I'm, I just, like, I love. I love that I can read these books to Charlotte and I will think of you, Lauren. So, this one... I know they're coming up backwards, but you get the idea. So I was super duper excited to get those in the mail. Thank you so much, Lauren. I love them. I definitely want to get her a bunch of books because I loved books when I was little. I still love books. I read all the time. And um, I just think that it's important to read to your kids, even from a really, really young age. Um, so yeah, I like those. And I got this outfit in the mail from Jazz. It is so cute. It's this little long sleeve onesie. And it has like little like lace on the sleeves. And then if I can try to hold this up. I don't know how good I am at doing this. And she got this little skirt to go with it. That's not really laying in a way that you can see, but you can, you get the idea. But look how cute this skirt is. Oh my God, I love it. It's like a little pleated skirt with a bow. I love it. I cannot wait to put her in it. And it's so cute. Thank you so much, Jess. That was a total surprise. I was not expecting that. And it was so sweet. So thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. And then I got couple more things in the mail from Leanna May, which I was not expecting since she already sent me something, but she's just so sweet. So she sent this pack of receiving blankets, which I, I'm in love with. This is, these are like totally like my style. This is, you know, I love 
the like the floral prints and like oh I love them and they're so soft they're like kind of like a flannel yeah flannel so she sent me those love them and then Joe her husband picked out the cutest baby flip flops oh my gosh I'm trying to hold these so they're straight look at the little baby flip flops oh my god so I could not even deal with those those are so cute and they're so tiny they're zero to three months like her tiny little feet are gonna fit in there and she's gonna wear little flip flops how cute is that so thank you so much Lena and Joe you guys are so sweet I love you and then today I got a surprise in the mail from Miss Haley Miss Haley boo she makes these blankets Ooh, nose itch and so she made one for Charlotte and it's fleece and this is the pattern on one side and on the other side is just a green but she makes these isn't that so cool and it's huge so I'm gonna get to use it before Charlotte gets here but isn't it so pretty I love this floral pattern it's so pretty oh, I love it so thank you so much Haley thank you everybody that sent presents for my little baby girl it means so much to me that she is already loved by you guys and I just thank you so much it's it means so much to me that you guys care and that you're here for me and the support system is just amazing and I don't know what I would do without all of you guys so I wanted to show you that stuff and um, I'm glad I did because it was starting to get dispersed throughout the house and I had to go round it up to do this video so I'm sure that in a few days or a week or so, I will have more stuff to show you. I ordered some baby legs, some more baby legs, um, some diapers from two different places. I ordered two newborn diaper covers and I ordered... I can't remember. I ordered so many things that I went a little bit a little bit crazy um I ordered so many things that I got an email a uh, shipping confirmation email for something that I'd forgotten that I bought so I'm I'm taking a break for a while but I just wanted to spoil my little girl a little bit and so um yeah those are all my baby purchases and um that's it so talk to you guys later bye